Remember that something we were building? Well now, this is it. And we've put it to its faces. Before any of you complain about its graphics card, this build was not meant for gaming, but rather an editing build. And now, the components. We used the Core i7-7740X for its processor. And of course, the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Remember, not a gaming rig. The motherboard is the X299 Aorus Gaming 3. For the PSU, we use the Corsair CX750. And for the RAM, very sparkly RGB Trident Z of G-Skill. And of course, we wanted this rig to be as cool as possible, so we used Deepcool's Maelstrom 240p liquid cooling unit. And the box just fell. Alright, and for the hard drive, we used a Seagate 1TB 7200 RPM hard drive. And finally, the component that houses it all is Inwin's 303 Tempered Glass RGB case. And now, for the performance of the anything rig okay so again not a gaming rig so we tested its cpu performance okay for cinebench performance which tests the cpu's rendering power it scored 10.85 points a respectably high number for its configuration of course we wanted it to be a rendering machine so we tested out its rendering power it was able to render a 133MB file in Adobe Premiere in about a minute and a half. And for a large file, like 8 gigs, it will take you about 45 minutes. This is in 1080p quality. So more or less, it's a very powerful rendering machine. And yeah, we again, this is not a gaming rig, but for your viewing pleasure, we also tested its gaming performance. So for gaming benchmarks, we maxed out the settings of all of our games, which is GTA 5, Nier Automata, Witcher 3, and Crisis 3. So you can see that it has respectably good FPS. It tops up at around 55 for GTA 5, around 37 for Nier, around 42 for Witcher 3, and around 43 for Crisis 3. But, well, this is the performance of the GTX 1050 Ti, which has been benchmark since its release last year. So you'll get basically good frame rates at 1080p gaming. If you would want to extend to 4K or 2K, of course you'd want to get a higher graphics card. We've also tested it in our synthetic benchmarks. So for Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0, it scored 1,585. For Unigen Valve Benchmark 1.0, it scored 1,704. And for superposition, it scored at 1315. So very respectable numbers based on its configuration. So for temperatures, we used Fermark and Prime95 to stress the system. Fermark for the GPU and Prime95 for the CPU. So it capped out at 64 degrees. Well, the 1050Ti is relatively a cool GPU. And for the CPU, of course, we had it liquid cooled. So it capped out at 72 degrees. So these, these benchmark tests or these benchmark numbers are very good numbers. The system is well cooled even though we have only installed one output fan and that's basically it. So in conclusion, this build is an okay device for gaming and it's a respectable editing machine. But of course, these components doesn't come at a cheap price. Overall, its estimated retail price is around 72,000 pesos for all of the components combined. But you'll get a cool looking build and a good editing machine. So that's a wrap. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If it sucked, you know where that thumbs down is. 
consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content. And I'm Zen. I'll see you in the next one.